it's a hopeless existence. I didn't think I was gonna get out of that at all. I was living in North Richmond, which was drug ridden. My kids were taken away from me and put in foster care. And I started the process of getting clean to get my kids back. I went to a drug program. The recovering addicts, they smoked cigarettes and drank coffee during the breaks. So I bummed cigarettes. Within a month, I think I was addicted. That's when we first got back together after foster care. And they were happy to be home, but it was like getting to know them all over again. I just went on into a whole nother chapter, but the cigarettes controlled my whole life. It was ironic how cigarettes were a lot harder to quit than the drugs. This is my cousin, Sarah. She has stage four lung cancer and she's on hospice, basically comfort care. They have her on morphine and it's just a matter of any day. It doesn't look good right now. It was like a sign. This is what you're gonna have to deal with if you continue to smoke. You know, your kids, they're gonna have to watch you die. That was my turning point. I will never pick up another cigarette ever in my life. There's no way I would wanna put my kids and my grandkids through that. I'm very proud of her, you know. She don't let her past define who she is. All she does is work towards the future and to do right for us. I learned a lot of lessons during that time. If I can quit smoking, I know I can do anything. She's like my personal hero. I was always taught, keep moving forward. Don't let your situation stop you from your goal. When you don't smoke anymore, you're free. 